Hello Aries, I'm Sammy. This is going to be your reading from now to the end of May. It's not going to resonate for every Aries, but it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. You can check your Moon, Rising, and your other placements if this doesn't resonate, or just to check for other messages and get a well-rounded view of the changes and transformations that you're going through. We're all going through so much right now. This is a Pleiadian deck, Shiji Oracle cards. They're Pleiadian messages. So I want to start off with this and then we'll do some Oracle cards. We'll do some tarot and maybe pull from another couple decks. See how you guys are feeling from now to the end of May. We have so much happening. We have Saturn retrograding on the 23rd, which is Sunday. Then we have a full moon lunar eclipse on the 26th in Sagittarius. And then we're going to have Mercury coming uh, exactly retrograde on the 29th. So we have so much happening, so much coming up, so much wanting to be healed. And that's just a major theme that I've been seeing. So many transformations, so many um, letting go and choosing a new path, a higher path. So we're all ascending at this time. We're all leveling up. We're all letting go of something. And there's really a lot coming up that's asking to be healed. So we're going to see what spirit has for you. Thank you, universe, spirit, creator of all that is, source, angels, guides and ancestors. Please bless us, bless Aries, with a reading of balance, purity, clarity and concise messages. From now to the end of May, for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Whoa, you guys got a lot. They just all flipped. Sometimes it is necessary to just sit back and let things play out. Go with the flow. No one can control everything. Even Source has to go with the flow. <laughs> That's true. For you to evolve and change, you must first love yourself, understand yourself, and grow in this way. You must love yourself. Understanding others will help you. Judging others will not. The main thing is to work on yourself and understand yourself. And when tested during the human experience, ask yourself, why is this happening? What can I learn from this? And is something else at play here? So, you got a few Pleiadian messages. So, this is definitely about letting go. You can't control everything. Not judging others, not judging yourself. Putting yourself first and really trying to love who you are at your core. Allowing these transformations to take place by asking, why is this happening? What lessons am I learning? And is there something else going on here? Like, what am I being shown? Uh, let me do this. Starseed Oracle first. Please give Aries the messages for their highest good. Thank you. Portal. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Portal. Doors are opening, you decide. Rewards and wild card. Wow, so something's coming in for you that you weren't expecting. This just feels very abundant. Doors are opening, there is actually a portal period coming in with this full moon in Sagittarius with this uh, eclipse energy. But Spirit is saying you decide, you're being rewarded here. Okay, so take this opportunity with this portal to level up. Take whatever opportunities come to you um, that feel right, you know. And wild card. That's just, just a very strong energy of like, surprise! <laughs> you didn't see it coming, but it's here now. Thank you, Spirit. Angels and Ancestors Oracle card, please, for Aries. Thank you. Shaman. 
Trust in higher forces. I really like this energy. Some of you guys are doing a lot of healing or you're learning a new healing modality. And look at this abundance. I just see all this green here and this wisdom of the owl. Really trusting that everything's coming in for you and working out. It's like trusting in your aspects of you that are the magician. Let's get a wisdom of the oracle card. Overall energies for Aries from now to the end of May, please. Overall energy for Aries. Thank you. TikTok. Okay, so with this card, number 30, by the way, some of you may be 30, or 30 may mean something to you, but with this card, TikTok, divine timing is at play. Okay, so it doesn't mean like TikTok, you should feel rushed. Sometimes it's like you need to make a choice here, but I'm getting more of a like, this is divine timing. You can't rush divine timing. You know, but maybe there is a time frame happening with this portal that needs to be taken into consideration. Let's just read and see what it says. Essential meanings. Timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Definitely letting go, right? Going with the flow. Not controlling everything. Remember that card? Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. So definitely this is a card of not forcing things, you know, releasing, letting go, allowing what is meant for you to come to you because nobody can block that from you. some tarot messages here for Aries. What is their current energy? What are they feeling? What are they dealing with? Aries from now till the end of May, please. Aries energy. No way. Okay, we'll take page of wands. Could be a message coming in. Could be dealing with uh, another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or a fellow Aries. Page of Wands is a message of passion. This is like someone uh, bringing news in, maybe of a of a new possible uh, opportunity in in something that is creative or passionate, fiery. This could be someone who is interested in you. As far as like chemistry goes or sexual energy. But this is about adventure. It's excitement. It's something new. So someone may come to you with a message like that. Between now and the end of May. The star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is about a wish being fulfilled. Okay. Or you could have a hope or a wish. You could be praying about this. Look at the, this is seven stars, right? This represents the Pleiades. So that is cool. You got three Pleiadian messages. And then you got this card. I feel a strong connection to the Pleiades. Some of you may feel that you're a Pleiadian star seed. 
Anyways, this is about gaining enlightenment. So someone can come to you with a message that really changes things for you. It may bring you enlightenment or cause you to reflect in a way that is very healing. Someone may give you closure in a message like, someone may tell you like, it was always you, you know, like I always loved you or whatever it was. Something that maybe you always had feelings for them and you thought like it was one-sided. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but something like, Someone gives you some sort of message and it actually ends up very healing for you. It could be closure in a situation or it could be new love or, or a new interest, a new passion and thing that, that is bringing you some kind of healing and new hope. It's like newfound hope for some sort of wish fulfillment. And this card brings enlightenment. So it's like new knowledge that is uplifting for you. So that seems like a very positive message. Yeah, definitely. Wish is fulfilled. This is like a prayer, a wish, and then wish is fulfilled. So someone comes to you with a, it seems like a very passionate offer, but it's something that, it's like it needs to, it's something that you need to take action on. Page of Wands. Ace of Cups. On the bottom. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or what, but... Ace of Cups on the bottom. This is something really great that brings a lot of fulfillment. For some of you, it's a passion project. For some of you, it's new love. It's like someone reached out. Or this could be you thinking about reaching out to someone. And this person could be everything to you. This person could be your wish come true your wish fulfillment. Tell me more about Aries from now to the end of May. Be careful also with energy from the past, the devil. Okay, do, someone could be obsessed with you or you guys could be obsessing over this idea of new love or wanting to create this uh, wish fulfillment here. This could also just be you working really hard at it. This is Capricorn energy. If you're dealing with Capricorn, um, take that as it resonates. But this is, can be overdoing it. This is addictions, this is working out too much, this is overeating, this is anything that you that makes you feel trapped or controlled. Anything also that that you feel you don't have control over, you know, like an addiction. Or this could be sexual obsession or lusty, very lusty energy. What are you guys up to? Oh no, three of swords on the bottom. You guys could be healing from past pain. Some of you may have had a injury or surgery recently. But I feel like for some of you, there's some sort of pain or regret. This could be someone who's obsessed with you. You could have broken somebody's heart. And they want to come in and talk to you because you are their wish fulfillment. Or vice versa, Aries, this could be someone trying to come talk to you, someone who's like stalker obsessed energy, but there was heartbreak at some point here. It's like someone's trying to come in and talk now, like you're everything I ever wanted and I see it now, but this is like a scary see it now, like <laughs> I'm watching you and I see it now that you're everything I ever wanted and they're like obsessed. But they want to come in and make it right. They want this to be equal. I don't know if this is someone from your past. I don't feel like it is. We haven't seen uh, any kind of... I don't know. It could have been really with the Six of Pentacles. It could have been a past energy. But this is funny reading. Tell me about Aries. Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. This could just be about trust. For some of you, maybe that's your issue. Maybe you have a fear of heartbreak. Maybe this person wants to come in and talk or you want to talk to them and you want to like offer some sort of like, let's go out. Let's have some kind of exciting uh, escapade adventure here. Kind of a lusty energy. But you really feel this person is your wish come true. Just stay with me here. This could be you or somebody else. Could be uh, your person, but... This is like, I want to come in and show you how I feel, but I'm afraid of that heartbreak. They want things to be equal and, and really having to trust here. 
really having to trust in the universe, have faith, make yourself vulnerable, and just be very open with this person. You know, despite the fact that it's scary because you know, or they know, this is their wish fulfillment. They really believe that. This is like, I prayed for you and then that was you, like you came in. Yeah, okay, there it is, Six of Cups. So this could definitely be somebody from your past wanting to come back around, messaging you, or this could be your energy. Trust in the higher forces, trust. Right? Doors are opening. If there was ever a door to the past, I mean, that would be now. So, <laughs> coming into this Mercury retrograde energy. Not saying you should go back to the past, but if that's right for you, and you believe that's right for you, there is some sort of fear here. So I don't know if there was past heartbreak or what happened here, but there could have been a lack of trust. So it's going to take a lot of effort to really trust and let go and let it go with the flow and not control the outcome of this. We have death on the bottom. So this could have been an ending that was very hard that caused a transformation in your life, that caused a transition period in your life. Could have been a Scorpio you were dealing with. So somebody's definitely trying to come back around here. I don't know if it's you or if it's your person. I wouldn't be surprised if you get some messages coming in between now and the end of May about somebody, you know, with this wish fulfillment. You guys got, got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, definitely a mistrust here. Somebody may have ran away from this situation or somebody avoided it. The Emperor is your energy. Very like standing up for myself. I'm the authority in my own life. I need to control things. You know, but you can't always do it on your own. It's like you're going to have to let go. If you want this person, if you're this Queen of Cups, for some of you, you're walking away from a situation like this. You're walking away to where your cups will be more fulfilled. If you're dealing with, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio Cancer energy, of a Queen of Cups, someone who's very compassionate and emotionally on your level or even higher somebody has to level up here and I think that's why someone could have been very harsh you didn't trust them someone could have been too harsh and controlling and not not emotional enough or not open to the emotions and so these parts aren't equal see the Emperor here is not equal with the Queen of Cups. You either need a King of Cups or you need the Empress. These energies aren't matched. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I feel that someone was not emotionally fulfilled and so they're gonna walk away. I don't understand why because someone believes this is their wish fulfillment. This could just be what they're telling you. There could have been a third party and that's why you walked away in the past. Or someone overindulging, spending too much, drinking too much, going out, partying, that sort of energy. Or it could have been an interference from a family member or a friend. Anything that interfered could have even been a work situation. I hope this resonates for you guys because I could see it going both ways. Someone wants to talk. Someone wants to just basically relive the past because they remember things so great. But then there's all these trust issues. And fear. Someone definitely doesn't want to get hurt again. And it might be you. Because I feel like this could be you. Both of these. You could be the emperor. You could be putting on a real tough, hard exterior. And like, I'm going to do what's best for me. Very logical. Planned out. Strategic. Disciplined. 
But at your core, you want to be emotionally fulfilled. You want this. I just think you don't trust the situation. So, I'm going to ask the outcome. This could have been somebody walked away in the past. Let's get the outcome for Aries for this situation. Ace of Wands, new beginning. Someone could be, seriously, this Page of Wands could be like, no, let's do this again. Or this could be you, it's fire energy. I want to see this again. I want to do this again. Like I want to, I want to start fresh though, brand new. New inspiration, new passion. New creative, new new. New start, brand new. Like let's let go of all this crap in the past. I want to work on this. I want to invest in this. It's like planting the seeds. It could be that someone has learned their lesson and they're coming back around. This could have been a karmic situation or it could be a soulmate energy. And if the lessons are learned and they actually did that or you did that, the timing could be right for this. If those lessons were learned. Advice for Aries, please. What is Aries' advice from now to the end of May? Advice for Aries. Advice, please, for Aries. Jumper. What is Aries advice? Thank you. Okay. This could be put in the work. You know, this could be working extra hard on it, or this could be actually take it, you know, however <laughs> however this resonates. Some of you may just be choosing to just work on yourselves. It did go from the seven to the eight, so it seems like if you're both willing to put in the effort that it could actually turn into something stable and and very productive for both of you. What the? My printer just turned on by itself. That's really freaking creepy. But, uh... So I'm gonna go with the latter. I'm gonna go with the thing I just said because I feel like Spirit is saying if you want this new beginning and you can let go, you can go with the flow on this and let go of control and let go of these trust issues, this really could be a wish fulfillment. Think about why you walked away in the past. What the heck? That is so crazy. My printer is like turning itself on. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, so yeah, take that how it resonates for you. That's a, like a poltergeist happening. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's positive spirits here. So. Did you want to put in the work? It seems like it's going to be beneficial. If you're not ready to put in the work, or you still, you're still dealing with some sort of abandonment from this, or some sort of insecurity, you know, I don't know. You might just be choosing to find another beginning and let go of the past and find something brand new. Work on yourself until something comes in. I mean, that's the energy that I'm noticing with a lot of readings, is choosing to focus on yourself. Let's see what lessons are being learned here. What is going on? Aries, you guys are... Your energy is strong because y'all turned my printer on. And it's trying to do stuff. And I haven't used that printer in weeks because I'm out of ink. So there's no reason why it should be coming on. Okay, please tell me about the lessons for Aries. From now to the end of May, what lessons are being learned here in this situation? Okay, whether it's for Aries or their person, the person that they're dealing with, what lessons are needing to be learned and integrated at this time? What lessons are being learned for Aries? Please jump in. Oh no. Perseverance. Let's see what this one. Guilt. Okay. Well. You could be learning both, or it could be one and one, you know? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So this is really about fighting for something, if you want it. Uh, maybe this person is having to be, <laughs> like, pursue you and, and be 
uh, perseverant in that manner. And then we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Guilt. So somebody could have had guilt. I mean, if they walked away in the past, um, or if there was a third party in the past, someone could have tried to control things. Um, whatever this trust issue is here, someone definitely harbors a lot of guilt for that. So we need to find a way to heal that and release that. And then we have perseverance. So you're being told to go with the flow and trust in the higher powers. But definitely go for what you want. Okay, you're creating this. Doors are opening. You decide. Okay, and there are rewards available to you. This wild card could be this person coming back. Maybe you weren't expecting it. Okay, there's definitely a new opportunity here for a new beginning. Now, whether it's with this person or someone else, that's up to you, Aries. Let's get some guidance from the angels before we go. Can we get some angels guidance for Aries from now to the end of May? Guidance from the angels for Aries, please, from now to the end of May. Okay, have confidence and daydream. So have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Oh my gosh, right? Trust in higher power. Along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us. If your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Definitely. This strength card is about courage, and it's about trust, and it's about confidence. So I definitely see that. And then we have daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. So if you're needing guidance, definitely tap in, meditate, go with the flow. Okay, don't be so hard on yourself. Love yourself. I know fear is scary. I know control, all that stuff is hard. But if you're harboring any feelings of guilt... Or you think this person is. Someone's having to work doubly hard at this. I think you both will if you want this to work. You have to both be willing to put in the work. And persevere. And get over this guilt and fear and trust and all this crap. Have confidence though that there is a higher power at work here. Not saying you have to go back to the past, Aries. Put this in your situation, okay? If you're done with the past and you don't want to revisit, then shut that door for good and go to something new. Go to this brand new beginning. Working on yourself. Working with uh, new teachers or mentors or an apprentice. Building your empire on your own. You decide... Right? You decide. Is it working? Mm. Can you see it? You decide. Anyways, I'll figure out the focus on my camera one of these days. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped you in some way. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And write a comment if this helped you. It really helps to confirm things for me and it helps for other Aries as well. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.